Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Uh, long time no see, I know, but uh, I haven't been doing nothing in the meantime. Uh, the complete opposite is the case. Um, you might notice here I'm sitting in a kind of a strange car with a familiar dashboard. Uh, this is actually a Renault Twingo. And uh, you, uh, I mean, you're on this channel for a reason. So this is actually a converted, a full electric Renault Twingo. I haven't converted it completely myself from the very beginning because this was a test vehicle for uh, the molten salt battery back in the 90s and 2000s. Uh, a very green battery technology that um, unfortunately maybe never broke through in the automotive sector so uh, this car was originally equipped with a molten salt battery and what I have done is I have uh, converted it to a lithium ion uh, battery taken from a Renault um, well actually it's a Renault Master but the battery cells are the kind of the same as the first generation Renault Zoe or the Renault Kangoo as well they're called LG Chem uh, NCM uh, 712 if I'm correct uh, so I put those uh, cells into this car so it's still a genuine Renault car with a Renault battery in it and uh, I had to change of course a lot of systems I had to change the whole uh, battery management system uh, I fitted a new charger and everything so um, we had quite a lot of changes and now we have a fully electric uh, Renault Twingo here so what I will do today is I walk you through the um, different components we have a, a look around the car the car is not finished yet so the you will see the open battery and um, let's say the battery cells and the BMS system which will be closed afterwards um, and then we will go for just a little drive to see how it actually drives uh, so follow and uh, let's uh, go so first thing we're starting off outside of the car uh, the well-known shape of the Renault Twingo it's a mini micro van design uh, I really love it it's like a small Renault Espace very airy and uh, spacious inside but very small and compact outside it's actually the same size as my Renault 4 CV of 1954 and usually the cars get bigger and bigger but this is a very very clever design I have to say um, very big uh, windows uh, very good uh, let's say visibility all around and a very pleasant face uh, if you ask me so let's have a look under the bonnet to see what's uh, inside this is the inverter which um, takes the power from the battery and converts it to uh, the power for the motor uh, this here the white one is uh, a junction box for all the signaling and also 12 volt connections and uh, I think even high voltage stuff uh, in the back there is the DC DC converter um, we also have uh, liquid cooling here for the inverter and for the motor you can see the pump there behind uh, DC DC converter which converts uh, the battery voltage from the traction battery down to 12 volt for the 12 volt battery which is sitting here uh, the 12 volt battery is for all the ancillary system and for the, let's say for the for the normal car stuff like the lights which are on at the moment and uh, yeah stuff like that under the inverter we have uh, the charger the battery charger uh, in this case it's not connected yet uh, because I'm still working on the battery and uh, yeah the you want to see the motor and the motor I don't know if that's working the motor is uh, down there down there and it drives uh, through drive shafts uh, the, the front axle front wheels uh, in the same way as uh, let's say the uh, the internal combustion engine would have uh, uh, given power to the front wheels so the motor is down there uh, that's basically the front side and now we go over to the back side to have a quick look at the battery side of things so you see where the battery uh, sits it's all a bit um, messy now because uh, 
we are still in the process of uh, fitting the battery. So what you see here is uh, the battery of uh, Renault Zoe, Kangoo or Master with, uh, with the different modules. Uh, the battery modules are one, two, three, they're even numbered going all the way uh, here and then we have two additional mod modules here on the back side and they're connected with uh, these orange bus bars um, and all the messy cabling there is uh, the battery management system which connects each single cell to uh, a central computer which is sitting up there uh, which uh, does the load balancing for uh, especially while charging for the lithium-ion charging um, here we have uh, the main contactors and the pre-charge circuit so the power comes in from this side and uh, does the pre-charging and then the main contactor goes on and then it follows along uh, there. The cables will be changed to orange cables for, uh, let's say, for legal stuff. So that's basically where the battery sits. In the car itself, uh, you can't really notice much. This is a regular Renault Twingo interior, as you can see. And uh, now you hear the, the cooling pump came into action here up front. Down there we have, uh, we have the cooling fan, which is running at the moment. So everything is working as it should, except for the charger at the moment. But uh, that's a different story. We have enough charge for the moment. So this is the gear stick of an automatic uh, Renault Twingo. We have, uh, let's say, a drive. Plus is forward, minus is reverse, and then we have on the right side the neutral position. Uh, that's all we need in the electric Renault Twingo. Uh, this additional switch there, the red one, is uh, for uh, uh, setting the recuperation to high or low, and the rest is pretty, pretty uh, standard Renault Twingo, so you wouldn't even notice that you're sitting in an electric car when driving with this uh, Renault Twingo. So let's jump in and have a little drive with it. So we're in the car now and uh, I will take you on a short little drive uh, with the all-electric Renault Twingo. Uh, say, here, say hi to Garage Steady Garment there in the background. Very good. So change over to the backside camera so you can see something there. So driving the car is pretty easy, it's like uh, an automatic, we have the ignition key here which we use to turn the systems on. Uh, I've already done it because the startup sequence at the moment is still kind of manual as I need to fix all the cabling in the background. Um, we have uh, the, let's say the redesign there. Uh, there is no battery charge monitor at the moment because the BMS is not programmed yet with this display so it shows the battery empty um, we are in neutral as you can see with the N zero is the speed and if we go down here we can just engage the forward drive and you will hear a little beep okay so now we are in drive mode as you can see there it's uh, drive mode so all we need to do is uh, push the pedal and here we go play in complete silence beautiful isn't it super cool Alright guys, that was probably the first time you rode in an all-electric uh, first series Renault Twingo. I hope you enjoyed uh, the ride. If you have any questions about uh, the car or the conversion, just uh, put them down in the comments below and I will try to answer them for you. 
Um, this is a very cool car, a very silent drive in a super, super cool car. And I'm really happy with the outcome of this conversion here. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching. Check back again soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.